From the Wall Street journalist who was arrested in Russia being charged to Europe launching its first ever Jupiter probe. And then Tesla is cutting prices for the fifth time this year. We got a lot of news to talk about. What is going on everybody? We're back with another video. If you're new right here, click subscribe button to help the channel grow. And today we're hopping right in the news. The first piece of news we got is a really interesting one, but gold miners actually found like a squirrel from over 30,000 years ago that was literally permafrosted like together. Like it was literally one piece. So the entire thing's still intact because it's been frozen all these years. So I guess scientists are gonna like dissect it and just look at it and check everything out. Really interesting. Interesting though, I mean like 30,000 years ago, like that's such a long time. I'm really curious on like what they're gonna find because like squirrels had to be different 30,000 years ago, you know what I mean? Like that's such a long time. And the gold miners were actually in Canada when they found this squirrel. So really interesting, I mean it's just wild to me that it was frozen for all these years. It's so crazy that like Earth can do that, you know, just like free something in time, basically unchanged. I mean it still has the fur on it, like if that tells you anything, perfectly preserves it, you know? So wild, but if any updates come out on it, I'll let you guys know. And our next story is a really sad one, but the Wall Street journalist who was arrested in Russia on spying charges. He actually just got sentenced and they're officially charging him with espionage, which is so sad. There's really not a lot out on it though. He's still claiming that he didn't do anything wrong and that he was just a journalist doing journalist things, you know, like going to different places, recording and talking, just getting stuff for Wall Street. But I guess Russia took it as he was trying to be a spy and get information. I just wish there was more info on it. They didn't even really say like how long he's going to be in jail for. I mean, like there's just nothing. So really sad stuff. Hopefully he can get out soon. I mean, like maybe the U.S. can do something and like just pull some strings or something, get him out. I feel so bad for him, you know, I mean, he just went over there doing his job and he's not coming home now. So my thoughts go out to him and his family and just everyone that's connected to him. Like, it's just so sad. And our next piece of news, the Webb Telescope's actually sending back pictures of the planet Uranus right now. For how far away it is, I mean, the pictures are pretty detailed. And on top of that, like, it's a gas giant. The pictures can only get so good, so, like, it's really impressive that they've got those. And scientists can do a lot with the pictures, I mean, just, like, figuring stuff out. Uranus actually has, like, 13 rings that go around the planet, and the Webb Telescope was able to, like, clearly pick up 11 of them. So it's gonna shed light into, like, what's inside all these rings and, like, what all they consist of. So as more discoveries keep happening, I'll keep you guys updated on it. Just so cool to hear, though. And our next story is a mind-boggling one but somehow secret plans from the pentagon and also nato got released and i mean they're just in the public now i believe russia got a hold of them and these were like serious plans that are supposed to help ukraine and stuff so really wild the pentagon actually started an investigation to like try to figure out who leaked it and like how it got out you got to think like the pentagon is probably one of the most secure places in the world it's almost like nothing gets out of the pentagon you know like i mean besides this it's so crazy like you never really hear of breaches at the pentagon definitely gonna have to see where this goes and like as new stuff comes out i'm gonna keep you guys updated but wild just had to let you guys know about that and our next story, Europe's about to launch the first ever Jupiter probe. By letting it just circle the planet, like it's gonna give so much more info on like what Jupiter is, like what it consists of, like all types of stuff. Science just continues to blow my mind every day. The first few missions that the probe's gonna do is actually circle the moons of Jupiter because it's believed that the moons actually have like an ocean underneath them. So it's gonna be really interesting to see like if they do and like what all scientists can figure out. But depending on how these moons look and like what they consist of, it could potentially be a spot for humans, especially if it has an ocean underneath the surface. Even if it's frozen, like I mean, just all that water, that's like the biggest thing is just really none of these planets have like a stable water source. Really crazy to see, but as more stuff comes out, I'll keep you guys updated. And our next piece of news is awesome for car buyers right now, especially if you want a Tesla, because Tesla actually just did their fifth price decrease for this year, which is wild. I mean, five price decreases. To be fair though, I feel like Teslas were a little bit overpriced, but like wild that they've done five price decreases. The biggest price drop comes on the Model 3, which is now roughly 42,000. I mean, still a lot for a car, you know, but 42,000 isn't wild. I mean, for an electric car, if you're wanting one, it's not an insane amount. There's newer cars and trucks that are going for way more than that. So pretty wild stuff. I believe the other models also had price decreases, but they weren't as substantial. I mean, if you're in the market for an electric car though, Tesla might be the move. I mean, with all these price decreases or just keep waiting it out. I wouldn't wait too long, you know, because eventually they're going to raise prices, but really interesting to hear. And our next piece of news is a wild one, but Johnson Johnson actually just finished up a lawsuit where they were being sued for $8.9 billion because of their baby powder and it affecting people's health. And they just settled it and they're going to pay out the full $8.9 billion to people affected. Mind blowing. I mean, that's such a large amount of money. I know Johnson Johnson is a massive company. 8.9 billion, that is a chunk of money. Honestly, for like any company. So hopefully they can recover, you know, and I mean, get back to like just doing what they're doing. And also everyone that's affected, I hope they're okay and they can get some of this money just to like pay for like medical bills and stuff. Cause I did read that like the baby powder was causing cancer and all types of other really bad stuff. So crazy to see. I don't know when the payments are supposed to start rolling out, but if any news comes out, I'll let you guys know. And our next piece of news, the Super Mario Bro movie is doing massive numbers right now. On Thursday alone, it did 26.5 million 
million dollars, which is mind boggling. I mean, that's so much money for one day. Absolutely crazy. That brings its first week total in the US to over $60 million. I mean, in one week, like 60 million. Absolutely crazy stuff. And internationally, it's also done 62.5 million. So just in this first week, it's done over $120 million in sales. It's almost to a quarter billion dollar movie, you know, just in its first week. Props to everyone that worked on the movie. I mean, from what I've heard, it's really good. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm definitely gonna have to with like these types of numbers. A bad movie doesn't gross that much. You know what I'm saying? But that's all the news that I got for today. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, run it up. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.